Hey everyone. Recently I was trying some waterfall technique on some tumblers and although I'm not dissatisfied, I wasn't completely happy with the outcome and I started doing a little research on YouTube about alcohol inks to try to figure out what technique I might be missing and I saw some interesting alcohol ink on paper projects that kind of got me thinking about things I could do with it and I wanted to share with you what I did. This is a piece of regular black vinyl for the Cricut. I used mica and alcohol and dropped it down on the vinyl, spread it out with an embossing gun. I did seal this with the plastic dip Glossifier because the glitter has a tendency to kind of rub off if you don't. And I was really happy with how it looked. I also used white vinyl and put some random colors on it, just experimenting with texture and process. And I want to show you what that turns out to be when you take it to Cricut and cut it. These were some reds and yellows that I did the same way as the purple I just showed you. And when I cut out some stuff, I got some really pretty words. And for the black, I was thinking Halloween cats. I cut these guys out. So I just thought I would show you kind of what I did with that. And maybe somebody can use it. I'm sure I can't be the only one that my mind went in this direction, but nonetheless, I'm just going to put another video out there and show you what I did. So I'm starting with a piece of white vinyl, and because it's kind of curled up coming off of the roll for Cricut, I used some clips to hold it down to one of these little cutting boards to help hold it flat for this process. Um, I'm just toying with some colors that I've been using for a requested color palette trying to find what I'm happy with. I'm still toying with this technique and it's just an experiment. So how I've been doing this so far is spraying a little alcohol across the paper so that the inks will kind of travel. Um, by no means, I am not an expert at this, so watch some of this on YouTube is what I suggest. I'm also using an embossing gun. It's not quite as hot as my heat gun. So I find that to work a little better with the vinyl. This is regular isopropyl alcohol. Um, what I've been watching is that reactivates your alcohol inks. And as the colors spread, you get different tones from the very same colors. You can kind of tilt them around to help do this. This particular kind of mauve purple is really dense. Mm, looks like my pinata is a little clogged up. There we go. I don't know that this white's going to do anything. 
I was just a little curious how that might turn out. Okay, so by now you kind of get the point. You just play with this until you get a design you're happy with. I think any colors you want to use are going to work. And then when it's dry, for the sake of color fastness, like I said, I did use the Plasti Dip Lossifier. And then when you cut it out, you get these really cool sort of tie-dye designs. So. Just another random idea I thought I'd throw out there. I hope somebody can use it, and maybe you're going to be a little more skilled with the alcohol use than me. Thanks for watching.